Welcome back to my channel. I know I haven't been uploading for so long, but I am here back with a very interesting topic. I don't know if you are one of them, but I was. I definitely was. When I was 17 years old, I was so afraid of being lonely. I need to make friends as many as I can, even though I actually don't care about them, but I still want to make friends. The reason why people are afraid of being lonely is because they want to always be in the social bubble. You look cooler when you have a bunch of friends. You look so cool, oh, you know everyone. They want to make friends, as many friends as they can be, which is how I was feeling. And the more friends you have, which means the more successful you are, which is actually not true. So today, I really want to share the benefit of spending time by yourself, being alone and the benefits of it. So keep watching and let's get started. Number one thing that I love to spend time with myself is I can get my things done. And I've been really enjoying my time, even on today, like Friday night or Saturday night, just sitting here, focus on my laptop, and I can really clear my mind up and do the work. With less disturbing, like, if I were the kind of people who always want to be with people, would be in the crowd, I would already, I would probably be out already and not getting anything done. Second thing is you get to do the things that you like to do. Let's say if you and your friend share different fashion sense, you like to go to Topshop, H&M, but they only like to do, I don't know, Chanel luxury stuff. It's just such a waste of time if you only join your friends but you're not enjoying what you're doing so instead of doing it you can just spend a day with yourself go to the shops that you enjoy go to the restaurant that you've been always want to try out even by yourself it's still a happiness and the next thing i've been learning so much which is being by yourself you don't need to force yourself to deal with people that you don't like. Let's be real. We all want to be friendly with everyone. But the truth is, I don't like everyone. I don't want to be friends with everyone. I used to, but not anymore. Because I realized people have different personality. And I respect that. But when people don't get along with each other, why bother to please them, to force yourself to be a friend or to communicate even. So I really enjoying to be just by myself. If I don't like, I just don't go. It saved me a lot of energy. And I'm ready to put those energy to do something that I like. And the next very important point is your mental health. Your mental health means your inner body, how your inner body feel. Sometimes we just too focusing on our outlook, like I need to go to the gym to look slimmer, to look toner, but sometimes we forgot about our mind. Our mind is so powerful. If they're ill, which means if your mental health is not healthy, it could bring you down completely. So I really love to spend time with myself because I get some me time. If you're into cooking, make yourself a pasta, enjoy the procedure of putting the oil, boiling the pasta. If you like to draw, just sit down, put some music, and you can feel free to draw anything. It helps a lot and it heals the soul. And also you can read. Reading is, I don't like reading, to be honest. I know reading is like such a calm of mind. Your mind will be in a different stage because I try, I've been trying to focus on reading a book lately and I do realize, wow, it's already been 20 minutes. So reading is definitely helps inside and to your mind as well. And also making videos like what I'm doing. I enjoy making videos. I just don't like to edit it. But yeah, making video is something that I like to do. But when I'm with someone, I won't be able to sit down to try to make a video because I need like hours to film one video because I always fail. In case you don't know, this is probably my 20 takes in the past hour anyways but my point is 
yeah, I get to sit down and talk about so much things that I want to share with you. And no one is here to stop me. No one is here to tell me what should I do, what to do. So this is definitely one of the benefits that I enjoy the most. But last but not least, being alone can make you see your goal, see your feeling way much more better. Because you get the peace of quiet and then you get to truly listen to yourself. What's your heart feel? What's your brain been telling you instead of your body? Human actually separate with three different parts. Our brain, our body, and the heart. We always forgot about how powerful our heart is. Our heart trying to tell us so many things. Being an adult, our mind started to take control of everything. What is right, what is wrong, instead of what you truly want to do. So spending some me time, spending time alone to truly listen to your heart. What do you really want deep down? Meditation help. If you're interested, try to do some meditation. It is not easy for your first few sections for sure but once you get into it you kind of like calm your mind down a little and eventually you will see the big difference so yeah these are things that makes me look forward to spend time with myself i think i'm starting to fall in love and i need at least a day in a week just by myself not going out not doing anything but just focusing on me myself and i I really hope this video helps in some way and if you have any questions feel free to comment down below and let me know also if you have any other tips that you think you can help each other definitely comment down below as well don't forget to like and subscribe i hope to see you very soon have a good day and i'll see you soon